great start to our arrival in Chiang Mai. We just got here and come to our hotel in a taxi from the airport. And they're telling us that they don't have a booking for us. Got no rooms left. I've literally just been walking up and down this road, seeing if there's any other hotels which have got any rooms left. Just left only at the hotel we had, but see if we can sort anything out. Yeah, I'll update you in a minute. <laughs> That was eventful. We are now in the room, the third hotel that we've been to now, in the space of about 10 minutes, which is all owned by the same person. It's okay. I've slept in worse places. It will do for the night. We had to pay again, so we had to pay another £21. Got to now try and get money back from Agoda, which we're on hold slash waiting for them to contact a business partner team. It was a palaver. The guy from the first hotel was really helpful. He's obviously got a partner line to get through to Agoda. Agoda just basically said they can't help him and they couldn't speak to me because I'm the customer. So then we had to contact the customer support team who then said they needed to contact the business team. And then she said, can I put you on hold? And I said, yeah, and then she hung up on me. And if it doesn't rain, it pours, as you've just probably seen from Chloe's clips, it was absolutely pissing it down as well. It's now half ten and we're finally going to get some sleep. Our night in the replacement hotel was not too bad. We had pretty comfortable sleep to be fair. The bed was a bit stiff but it was okay. Um, today we're going to go get some breakfast. We're moving to a different hostel that we'd already booked. So we're going to just go over there now and then we're off to see some elephants for our afternoon trip. Jamie's got the biggest coffee in the world for breakfast. <laughs> My breakfast is massive. Welcome to our next hostel. Staying here at Hidden Garden Hostel. Yep, 7 Eleven over the road. Brilliant. Elephant, let me see you there here. Now we call them domestic elephant or home elephant. Now, home elephant. Elephant born with the people. Now, they're used to the people. They have the domestic instinct. No. You can get in touch with them. It's been given a little introduction to how what we're going to do today and um, a little bit of information about the elephants that they keep here and just elephants in general that are in sanctuaries and in Thailand. Um, we've also been given bags full of food. We've got sugar cane. James got his bag. And our lovely uniforms. We've got a hat. <laughs> Grab some mud and rub it on the elephant's body. Mud bath. Looking forward to it. Mud bath. Yeah, it's it's it in the water. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a baby as well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
going to cook for the elephants now. And I think we get fed as well. Mm -hmm. All our hard work, we get loads of Maybe. fruit. <coughs> this one separate, and then you, you do like massage. No, massage. You know massage? Mm -hmm. You need to knead it. Not in English, we call knead it. No, or squeeze it. No, mix everything together. And then you make the tennis ball side. No, not one big ball like this. No, small ball better. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are the balls that we've made. So we've got like fruit, banana, banana skin, so soy protein, yeah, salt, and seasonings in it, basically. It's like a garlicky thing to help with their like detoxifying. Basically, it's nutrition in a ball. Yeah, Nutri balls. Nutri balls. Elephant Nutri balls. Shout! You got to shout it. Bun 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 bun. This way. You gotta say it. Bon, 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 bon. No, louder. Bon, bon. <laughs> Just can't be bothered sticking a sticking a trunk up. US dollars to be able to like buy an elephant to put into the sanctuary because the price of them have gone up because of all obviously the tourism the keepers of them they uh, like sleep with them as well like they're literally bonded for life and sometimes when like the keepers died the elephant won't eat for like two or three days it's just like so so sad and they're all female yeah and the male gets separated because he's around the bugger They've got 15 elephants here, and only one of them is a male. Because apparently, there's, out of like a litter of 10 elephants, <coughs> only like one would be male, the rest would be female. Men are the only ones who have the tusks. Yeah, and if you take them from them before, like they, they die if you take them from them, because apparently they go all the way up to like their brain. So if I take them out, you're essentially like, like giving you brain damage. He also said when the elephants get older that they start to lose their teeth, and that's how you know that they're going to die soon. And in the wild, they'd usually die around 70 ish, and they'd start to lose their teeth and they won't be able to eat anymore. But when they're in the sanctuary, they can live longer, so they live up to 100 years because the keepers are able to mash down their food so that they can continue to eat good food and stay healthy for longer. Apparently, 350 kg of food a day, which is ridiculous. And they poo every half an hour. And they get fed 15 times a day. Apparently, the albino elephants are white and born with blue eyes. Apparently, if they, have, if they have one anywhere, they have to go to the king instantly. You're not allowed to keep them in the sanctuary yeah, as well. They have to the king. And if, if the elephant doesn't want to go without the owner, he said, the owner has to go as well. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. And the reason we had to wear the uniforms with the elephants on is because elephants are colourblind, so they can only see black and white, so they recognise the patterns on, on the uniforms, and therefore they know that you're like not a threat to them, and they'll let you come near to them. Also, Tom supports Manchester United, but he also thinks that England are going to win the World Cup, which I suppose proves that most other countries leave in England than English people don't leave in England. <laughs> He's very good. He's really knowledgeable. He might know is like your man if you want to know about anything to do with elephants. If, you're, if you are doing an elephant thing, obviously make sure you go to a sanctuary, not a riding one. We did see a ride one in Kosamui that was like a ride one. Go to a sanctuary, look after the elephants, 
and yeah, this one's called um, Kanta Elephant Sanctuary in Chiang Mai, or just north of Chiang Mai. So we'll put a link in the description if you're in the area to look them up. Today we're off to do a Thai cooking class. We've chose to do it with Siam Cooking School. This one we get to make six different dishes. Both really hungry because we're not eating all day because we're going to have all of the foods. We've been starving ourselves all day just so we can enjoy this to the maximum. Yeah. So first up we've come to is a local market and our guide, Fonny, she's just uh, shown us some unusual fruits and vegetables that we've not seen before. We've just been told to walk around for a few minutes and take pictures of anything that we wanted well, to explain. buying us a rose, rose apple. apple and then some pie donuts yeah, which like would be nice. Dough. I think we've lucked out with a book in our tour today because we're actually the only two on the tour so we've got a private tour basically. <laughs> little room we've been given aprons and a name tag this is the garden of the place that we're cooking in struggling to finish the smoothie that we're given <laughs> Perfect, look at that. <laughs> Easy slide yeah. yeah. So our first course is the appetizers we just made. So Jamie's made papaya, papaya salad. salad. It's got garlic, chili, tomato, uh, peanuts, mm. papaya, obviously. And I've made a spring roll. I have glass noodle soup with spring onion, parsley, cabbage, carrot, and mushrooms. And I've made Thai noodle soup. Which is very similar, but you've got... I've got pork balls. balls in it. Right, final course of the day. I've got... What's this called? That was the cow soy. Cow soy curry. And the Massaman curry, which Jamie has made. Uh, cashew chicken nuts, with chicken. cashew nuts. And I made pad thai with prawns. And then for dessert... Oh, that's the rice to go with, with the curry. Well, for dessert, we've got... Banana spring roll. Yeah, banana spring roll and, and mango um, sticky rice. Yeah, blue rice, which the blue comes from a flower which mm. we you saw in the, the garden. garden. We're about to eat it now. We've just come back from our cooking class, and now there's a night market it's literally on uh, our I'll street go where go the hostel is. Just gonna explore the house. Chiang 
tomorrow today, so we've not really got much plans. I've decided I'm gonna go get a pedicure. Found a place on Google called Sheik's Nail Salon, so I'm just walking there now. I've left Jamie at the hostel, he's waiting to get the room key so we can get our bags in the room. And I'm just gonna go there now and see if we can get a pedicure. Hello, viewers. Chloe's gone to get her feet done. So I am vlogging on my own for a little bit. I'm off to 7-Eleven because that's all I can think of doing before I can check into my hotel. This is the place. reasonable price, I don't know how much it was, but um, I think it was about £18 for the night, which is not too bad. Here it is, pretty simple, just a double bed, it's got aircon, I think there's a little bit of a balcony out there as well. Um, even though it's near the main road, it's not as loud as when we was in last night, and I think that's partly because it seems like it's uh, proper PVC windows. Dad, you'll be able to tell me what exactly windows these ones are. But uh, yeah, all good. Two balconies actually. Oh, one there, one there. And then here's the view out onto the main road. There's a temple over the way. Yeah, all good. Just walking back from getting my nails done. Pretty nice experience. Paid 450, so that was 150 to take the gel off that I already had on my toes. And then 300 for the pedicure. It's about 11 pounds, if that. Very good. We just hang out in the hotel room for a bit and did some editing again because we have to keep editing these videos. And now we are going to head out to the Sunday night walking market, which is pretty much one street away from our new hostel. So we'll see if it's any different to the one we went to yesterday. beef cheese quesadillas and Jamie's got some sushi. His was a lot cheaper than mine, I should have gone for that. Done in. Uh, you're going to be. In, you're now in episode episode five. Hello vlog. It's fairly late. We're coming up to one o'clock in the evening. Night. Morning. Morning. Uh, we've just been out to meet up with our friends Finley and Hugh. Mm. Um, we went for a few drinks and a few games of pool. We're not actually that drunk. We've only had watched few... Formula One. Formula One, yeah. Uh, we've had a few drinks. Deep chats. Yeah, got to know some people tonight. It was nice. We've had a good evening. So we'll hopefully meet up with them again in the next few days. Maybe tomorrow because they're off to Pi as well, where we're off tomorrow as well. Yeah. Um, hence the World Cup tomorrow, England versus Iran. So maybe we'll catch up with them then. But for now, we've got some water and then go to bed. Right. Good night. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way 